I just got back from running errands and I was debating whether or not to talk about this in my vlog but I guess I wanted to share today my experience getting my car oil changed for the first time here in Japan and in general getting my car oil changed ever um, which to some may not seem like a big deal but for me um, I'm very proud of being able to accomplish that, uh, to accomplish it, but I definitely had a little bit of a public breakdown and I guess I wasn't expecting uh, to be crying at the car shop, but essentially I went in to the shop and everyone was really nice and I asked for a car oil change and um, they started asking me technical questions uh you know pretty protocol about my insurance and uh my shotgun kind of form which is basically the certificate that you get for the mandatory car inspection that's done every two years here in japan so um, i had the form already in my car the thing is i really could not understand these technical terms and so I was fumbling with my words, I was struggling, um, 
to find and to under to find an understanding and I think I was just trying to spurt out any words I could think of and I kept asking them in Japanese if they could repeat uh, the terms and they were so sweet and you know they were repeating it slowly uh, yet even with them saying it really slowly the uh, technical terms I still couldn't understand anything and I think I, all this pent up frustration and I think disappointment and not being at a certain Japanese level kind of came crumbling forward and I just started tearing up um, and I don't know I just could not hold my composure um, they were so so sweet and super understanding and you know they tried to break it down in simple terms um, long story short I ended up being able to call my supervisor who is such a homie she um, talked to them on the phone even though it's a weekend and she helped translate the whole process after um, I got my car all changed uh, they even showed me uh, this QR code that I could use for future um, oil changes and even for getting gas so that I can get a discount every time I'm there. The whole staff was so sweet and um, yeah, they were just so understanding. They gave me coffee while I was waiting. Um, so it really made me appreciate Japanese hospitality even more. Um, but I guess I share this just to kind of bring light to the fact that being abroad is not easy, which is I guess obvious but I guess my vlogs I kind of show more of like the rainbows and butterflies of living abroad but there's actually a lot of the in-between that can be difficult especially if you're someone like myself who is still in the language learning process. So I would say my Japanese level is now thankfully being here seven months pretty like basic conversation. I can talk about myself, um, hobbies, uh, weather, school, uh, just kind of general topics like that. But when it comes to more deeper topics or things like car oil changes, that's where my Japanese ability just really falters. So um, I'm learning to just take things one step at a time. And it's also okay to have these moments where you know, if anyone living abroad happens to stumble across this video, um, it's okay to have moments where uh, you feel that you're not grasping the language. It's 100% normal to feel that way. And it's also fine to let out frustration and tears and uh, sadness. But I think what's also important is to remember how far you've come as cheesy as that sounds and I also am saying this to remind myself I go as you're editing that you know it's okay if you're not at the Japanese level you want to be yet you'll get there it's just gonna take time everyone's on their own pace and journey but anywho with that being said I guess I'll share what I got after I got my oil changed and ran some errands so it's kind of boring adulting type of stuff but I don't know, I just thought I would share what I got at Daiso slash the drugstore slash uh, Amazon. Okay, so first starting with Amazon, I got a HDMI to USB-C cord. And I really hope it works because I want to start uh, hooking my iPad to my TV. Yeah, I got a TV recently. There she is. Uh, my friend was not using their TV, so they kindly just gave their TV to me, and yeah. So I'll test this out. And then at Daiso, I got sponges. What else? I'm trying to separate what I got. So I got uh, garbage bags, and I also got another kind of clear plastic bag. Uh, as you may know, Japan is quite strict when it comes to garbage and recycling separation, so you need certain types of bags for different things. I also got dishwashing gloves, coffee filter for drip coffee, and I think that, that's all I got from Daiso. 
And then at the drugstore, I got this Solide um, Air Freshener in Romance Rose. It's the same brand that I have in as a car freshener, so I'm gonna put this in the bathroom. It smells really nice, and I like how the rose scent isn't too overpowering. Then I got dish soap refill, exciting stuff. And then I got this Hatomugi skin conditioner um, with these thin cotton pads that you can kind of use as a little DIY sheet mask. And this product is rated pretty highly. Um, actually, it received a number one Cosme award. So um, it's kind of a skincare cult classic for hydrating and nourishing um, all types of skin types. So I'm excited to test this out. Then I got uh, multivitamins. This is my first time trying DHC's uh, multivite. Comes with 60, so enough for about two months. Then I got my go to green shoes, Alajidu, and this is a special Kyushu version. Woohoo! Go Kyushu! And then this next thing I'm so excited about it is a hand foam that actually, um, when you pump it, it pumps a little flower in your hand. So it's just little things like this that can really make hand washing <laughs> more fun. Um, so I discovered this after visiting my friend in Kyoto. She had this in her apartment. And when I got back to Miyazaki, I was like, I definitely have to get it too. So yeah, that's why I picked this up. And I'm so excited to have a little flower in my hand every time I wash my hands. So yeah. Thank you.